Um, you're sitting in the whaley today. Can you tell us a little bit about this boat? Yeah, hi Anna. Um, yeah, the, the whaley is actually um, something um, we produced in Holland for a few years now and has become very popular in, in Europe, you know, in many different countries. And uh, now we have brought one over here for two years ago and tested it out, you know, quite a bit and found that it would be really suitable for a um, for junior club and, you know, sales, sailing school and, um, you know, uh, race committee, you know, safety boats and so on. And that's exactly um, what we needed here, you know. And knowing that the boats are made from polyethylene, it makes them really strong, almost indestructible, you know, rather than having um, rubber bolts, you know, they can get punctured, need, need repair, or fiberglass gets splintered, and, you know, it's, it's all that um, extra um, maintenance which we don't need now on this wings, you know. It looks lovely and clean and new and shiny. Can you tell me how much it costs to put a motor on the back of the boat, what size of motor people would want to get? Yeah, no, this one is here, the Whaley um, 435, you know, 4 meter and 35. And the uh, builder recommends actually um, to put motors on it, about 25 horsepower, not more. Uh, because I think it's more the weight of the uh, motor um, rather than the, the power. You know, the boat can handle the power and so on. But you don't really need to go that much faster. I would think a 15 horsepower motor would be even plenty on, uh, on this type of boat. So it's also wonderful for the lakes in Canada, the nice flat water lakes because the engine runs nice and quietly. Right now we're going to take the boat for a little bit of a spin. It's a very calm day today so we'll be able to see how it performs on the flat water. Now the new engines today are the, um, basically um, like four four cylinder motors, you know, rather than the old uh, two stroke motors which needed a mixture of oil and gas, you know. Um, they are more quiet, more reliable, but they are also heavier, you know, so that's the only disadvantage uh, with the newer motors today, they are a little bit heavier. Well, thank you very much for your advice. We all know you as being an expert sailor and you've been around boats for an awfully long time, so your advice is very well served for us okay let's before you start um, you were asking about uh, tell me uh which model you're driving right now and the pricing please yeah so we have the we have whaley 435 formula 35 and um we just installed the um, equipment here for the motor it's a brand new motor it's a 25 house power uh, mercury and they installed for us steering wheel and all the connections, the wiring, and it's brand new, so we are taking it out now for spin and um, see how it performs. Okay. Okay, great. Now I'm going to give a forward shot as we sort of speed up and see what it looks like as it's moving forward. Yeah, actually, just to mention the equipment to install the um, uh, the steering on the column and all the wiring to the motor. It's actually uh, seven hundred fifty dollars, and then of course the mode is extra, and there's a variety of different uh, choices. You know, Yamaha or, and uh, Mercury and Nissan. You know, they all have their uh, choices of uh, installation for steering wheel, cable, and so on. You know. Okay, great.
burns very, very easily. This definitely will be an excellent boat for all round use. Well, here we are at the waste 